All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina Kay. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be doing something very exciting and actually something I've never done on a channel before. We're gonna be unboxing and uncrating a brand new motorcycle and I'm super excited about it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, we have arrived at Warhorse of Camp Hill, formerly Yamaha Triumph KTM of Camp Hill. It's under new ownership and that's why we're able to unbox what we are unboxing. Sales technicians, finance managers, and parts associates. There you go. Dwayne Send your resume to Yamaha Dwayne. Triumph of Camp Hill. Tell them we sent you too. I would love to see some uh, people who are subscribers of the channel working in here. What's up? And look. Nice. <laughs> so we gotta go find everyone, see if we can find the uh, crate, and we'll go from there. All right, so before we go back and start the uncrating process of the new bike, um, we went online actually and looked for Monster 1200 S's, which are discontinued as of 2021, and we could not find any good models, examples. So if anyone's selling a Monster 1200 S, a 2021 or newer, which I believe they stopped in 2021, and it's got low mileage, yeah, like as low mileage as possible and as stock as possible. Let us know in the comment section below or shoot me a message on Instagram at Jared Campisi. But there is a Monster 1200R here, which is an amazing motorcycle. Like I said, the only issue I have with the Monster R is I don't believe any company makes a full titanium exhaust system. We did find one by Zard, but it doesn't look as good as the SC Project full tie system. Um, so that, which is like, that's the highlight of the whole bike for me. So this could be an option. And honestly, I think this is beautiful. It's crazy that this is here. They're rare. And I think this was a, what is this, 2019, I think? I'd have to ask them, um, but I mean, it's beautiful. It's in great shape. They just fully serviced it. It's definitely an option for her. Can you pick it, pick it up off the kickstand? Like how, does it feel higher than the S or about the same for you? It about the same. About I could lower just a tad if I could. We can lower it. Yeah, that's not a problem. As as possible. Yeah, so that you are close to flat footing as possible. Yeah. That would be the idea. I'm on the balls right now. We do, well, there's a time and a place for that. <laughs> not on a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, like if I want to stop, I can, you know, not, yeah, so this is an option. Why am I so short? <laughs> no, this is a problem a lot of people have with motorcycles. I love the V4 or V4R. I love the Monster 1200R. Um, I fell in love with the bike look when you did. The, the 1200S, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's. And I rode the 821. That's also very nice, but doesn't have the single side swing it. arm. Know, doesn't have all the bells and whistles. I've ridden both monsters. Yes. The 1200S, the 821. Yeah. I just loved it. The 1200. So comfortable. Actually, both monsters were great. You know? So. Yeah. Okay, well, this is an option, so we'll keep that in mind. I think JR is ready for us. Let's go uh, uncrate a new motorcycle. Yes. All right, so here we are in the uh, undisclosed location of the shop, and here is the bike right here. So you can see what it is. Yeah, are you going to pull it over? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to take it into the service area, and we're going to unbox this thing. And I've never shown this on my channel before, so... Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. Make your guesses, don't cheat. Make your guesses in the comment section below. What bike do you think this is? And whose bike do you think this is? I have not even mentioned whose bike it is yet. So J JR is gonna be helping us out here today. And uh, we're gonna let him, hopefully it doesn't say on there. It might say right there <laughs> on the side. Look at this, this is how they arrive. So if you've never seen an uncrating of a motorcycle, this is how Ducatis arrive. All right, here we go. The unboxing process has started. And I'm gonna probably give him a hand if he needs a hand, but he's done. How many motorcycles do you think you have unboxed at JR? <laughs> Thousand? Thousands? Okay, yeah. yeah, a couple. It's been a while. <laughs> been a while. There it is. Wow. There it is. Yeah, see, I've never seen this process before either. Wow, so this whole thing just pulls, up, pulls away? Mm -hmm. That's pretty crazy. Just a little, uh, they still don't know what bike it is. They might, they might by now. <laughs> But you know it's red, so it is actually a Ducati. Look at this, bubble wrap with everything on it. That's so cool. So here's one of the accessory boxes that comes with it. Um, Christina was guessing it probably is like mirrors, maybe bar, bar ends for the um, throttle and brake grips. Oh, look at that, so there you go. That's how you found out what it was right there. Panigale. So it's all. Uh, the turn signals are built into the uh, mirrors. So, you get so that's the sing that might be the single seat cowl in the back. Or no, it well, comes with a single seat cowl. Yep. That's the passenger seat. Yep. And then the mirrors, warranty yep. information. Not sure what's in there. This is so cool though. What's that guy? 
I have no idea. Let's see what this I is. Know. Look at all their Ducati tools and everything that they have. They're officially a Ducati licensed dealer and authorized uh, repair shop. So what is that? This is all bags and nuts and bolts. Oh, okay, yeah, this is for the uh, mirrors. That's the, that's the bar end, bar end hardware right there and bar ends. Very cool. All right, so next part of the puzzle is basically removing this entire metal crate um, so that we don't hit the bike, God forbid. We do not want to hit this bike. As far as I know, this is one of the first 2023 Ducati Panigale V4S is delivered in the entire country. So that's pretty cool. This thing literally came on a boat across the Atlantic and it just arrived. So it's pretty awesome that we were able to get one of these this soon. So shout out to Ducati USA for helping us get this so early. And you guys are gonna find out what this is for very, very soon in a future video. So you have to stay tuned for that. All right, cover's coming off. Brand new motorcycle. We're gonna get to see it for the first time. Seems like a dumb place to put it. Look at that. Cotty Panigale V4S. 2023. 2023, baby. One of the first ones in North America. Look at how beautiful that is. Wow. They changed quite a bit on these. So the whole gas tank has been redesigned. Uh, it's got a brand new seat. Uh, this section here is all new. It has new dashboard, well, a new dash, some new dash um, layouts. It's got different swing arm pivot location. It's got different body work, different winglets. Look at the extra cooling. These are all for cooling down here because I told them the bikes get too hot. <laughs> the fans actually kick on earlier now. It's got a brand new gearbox. It's got a World Superbike clutch gearbox. And so it has different gear ratios. It's a completely redesigned bike. Look at how God. angry that looks. Is it gorgeous? America. It looks America. like an eagle. It does. They gotta protect those winglets. So these winglets are actually 40% smaller, but they still produce the same amount of downforce as the old winglets. You gonna put some carbon fiber there? I don't know, why would we do that, teens? Is it is it our bike? Just kidding. <laughs> Cut. All right, so we pulled off the um, front mounting brackets. So now the uh, front wheel is completely free. And then the last thing he's gotta do is pull off the rear mounting brackets and then we'll be able to roll this thing off the crate. But I gotta say, guys, like, Damn, this bike looks good. Even in stock form, it looks like almost as good as our fully customized M1000RR, you know? Like the, the Ducati styling is just something, it really is just something special. Looks First good. Time ever, I'm creating a motorcycle. What do you think? Do you think I think it's You're awesome. Here. It's freaking, freaking sexy. Oh my god! I don't know. I don't know if they changed the, the shade of the oh red. Oh my god! Look at but that. But this red looks deeper and more vibrant than the old reds. Like I didn't really love the old reds, but because they also did something else is. They got rid of all those shades of silver, right? Mm -hmm. So like this is black. Your eyes don't go to These your eyes black. don't go to the frame. Even this piece here yeah. is black. Again, now this isn't. Now black. that's where it goes. Black. Yeah. Now, you know, if you replace that, anyway. yeah. Everything's black. Like it looks good, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, so we push the bike over here. We're gonna continue with the PDI process. We're not showing you everything, but just the interesting stuff. Um, next thing he's gonna do is pop this guy off right here. You guys have seen us take these off a million times. Um, so, oh, it's actually a little bit different. Look at that, they yeah. use hooks mm -hmm. here instead of Velcro. Yeah, and then it just pushes in right there. Um, he's getting access to the battery and look at that, lithium ion battery in these. And he's got to charge that bad boy. And then I believe, are you gonna plug it in the diagnostics unit? Yep. Okay, sweet. So what we're basically doing right now is we're just going down the pre-delivery checklist. So this is what all the techs do um, whenever they uncrate brand new Ducatis. So you can see everything on here. So that's basically, I'm not showing all of this, but that's basically what he's doing, which is really nice that they're letting us show this. And he said there's a whole nother checklist too for um, basically PDIing it for the customer delivery slash pickup. Um, but 
yeah, you have to plug the battery in. It doesn't come plugged in for obvious reasons because it could just die when it's being shipped overseas or sitting in crates or whatever. You never know how long it's gonna take to unbox till they get unboxed or purchased or whatever. Because most of the times you guys put bikes on the floor, do they even have batteries plugged in? Normally all the bikes that we see on the floor should be ready to go. Okay, got you. So they're already PDI'd and ready to be purchased. Okay, cool. All right, they got an R1 with an Undertail exhaust on over here. Sounds so good. He's adding some gas to the motorcycle. Look how cool this thing is, dude. An old school gas uh, gas pump, I guess you could say. It's also red to match the Ducati. So he's gonna add a little bit of gas. He's got the battery hooked up, and then we should be able to start this bad boy up. Look at that. So we realized we might as well put the mirrors on and the bar ends and stuff like that first so we can test the signals and make everything works once we start it up. But I think that thing is so freaking cool. I want one for my house. Do you guys sell any of these, JR? We do. <laughs> All right, I'll take two, thank you. All right, mirrors are on. Next thing he's doing is adding the bar ends. These are heavy ass bar ends that come from the factory. Supposedly they're to reduce uh, vibrations at high end speeds, but um, I've never had an issue. But I also don't, I don't drive fast, according to everybody on YouTube. Uh, 55, yeah, no, never over 55. Even if the speed limit's 70, I do 55. Um, so after he puts that other one on, we can start it up, see how she sounds, and that'll probably be just about it. All right, so the next step for what I'm showing here is um, hooking it up to the diagnostics tool so that he can uh, basically plug it in, take it out of transport mode. He's got it on a tender, an official Ducati tender, because it has a logo on it. So you can see, um, we actually did turn it on and off once. I already primed the fuel pump. But you can see right there where it's flashing and it says transport mode. So that's why it has to be plugged in. I don't even know, you can probably ride it, but you might not even be able to go out of like 20 miles an hour or something like that. So obviously they don't want it ridden until it's taken out of transport mode. Do you want this key on or off? It doesn't matter right now. You can leave it off. Leave it off for right now? Okay. All right, so first thing he's doing is identifying the model. He's gonna double check on the VIN number there. Make sure that it is correct. It should be right here, right? Mm -hmm. So it is the same one. So it looks like it identified it properly. And there it is, Panigale V4 Euro 5 Superbike 2023. And it's made for the road, so that's what it tells you. So you hit OK. And this is probably gonna tell you, it's gonna take a look at it, right? And then see what happens. It's gonna scan it and then we'll go from there. All right, so now he scanned it and it's telling us we have a new software update. So we're gonna go ahead and run that. And then we'll see what happens from there. So first thing it's doing is an update. It says it's a graphic update for the um, software, dashboard software update. So that might be something that you visually see there, but it's updating the ECU, which is super cool. And then you can see the progress down there. And the cool thing about this is anytime you get your Ducati serviced, they plug this in and sometimes they'll have updated maps that make it run better or different things that like make your fan kick on sooner to help with the cooling of the engine. There's all kinds of cool stuff, ABS updates. And I love that you get all that stuff for free um, as part of the warranty or buying the bike and all that. So we're gonna let this thing run and then we'll go from there. Okay, so it looks like it updated the ECU. So we got to sit here for a while while it did that. It's still in transport mode though. So it looks like it, that's a whole separate thing. So at least that's done. It wants us to close and quit this and then we're gonna have to redo it again. All right, so after the update, we did a global scan again and now it's saying, hey, this bike's in transport mode. Do you wanna take it out of transport mode? And yes, we do. So it clicks okay and it should remove transport mode, which will come off the dash up here. All right, it's officially out of transport mode. Um, he's gonna do date and time later and finish the whole rest of the, the PDI. Oh wait, you're, teens, you wanna do the honors? Look at that. Look how dope the headlights and everything look. All right, here we go. See if it starts. That's good. Look at that. First startup. 2023 Ducati Panigale V4S. Absolutely stunning. Obviously, we're not gonna rev it or anything like that. Very quiet, very quiet. Their bikes are getting quieter and quieter from the factory. But um, what a beautiful machine, wow. And there you go, that's it. So he's gonna go through the rest of the checklist uh, off camera and obviously he has to charge the battery overnight. He's gonna take it out for a ride and everything like that but um, this will be ready to go for the new owner. So there you go. There's an unboxing of a brand new 2022 Ducati Panigale V4S and what goes on a little bit behind the scenes whenever you uh, order a brand new Ducati. So 
Member Warhorse of Camp Hill is now a authorized Ducati dealership. If you guys wanna get some Ducatis, come on down, tell them I sent you. Let us know what you think if Christina should get that Ducati Monster R in there, which is a 2016. Or Were you she... right? Did you know this was in the box? Yeah, how right? many of you guys guessed that this Were was the bike right that cheat? was in the box? The next thing you need to guess is, what is the story on this bike? Who is it for? Where is it going? Why am I filming this video? So many questions. All will be answered in due time. I'm freezing, so I'm jumping around. So that's it guys. Huge thank you to Warhorse of Camp Hill for letting us come down here and film this process. Thank you JR for letting us uh, hang out with you for a little bit at work today. Annoy him. And thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big old juicy thumbs up, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. Squeak, squeakers, squeakity, squeak, squeak.